past four episodes of this series, you learned about all the practical ways to build animations in Flutter. Not so in this video. Here you'll learn how to implement animations in the least pragmatic way imaginable. But you'll also learn some things along the way. Let's start with something simple and lighthearted. What is motion, really? Motion is an illusion. See this? It is a lie. What you're actually seeing are many still images shown in quick succession. This is how movies work. The individual pictures are called frames in cinema, and since digital screens work similarly, they're called frames even here. Cinema normally works at 24 frames per second. Modern digital devices show 60 or 120 frames per second. So if motion is a lie, what are all these animation foo and foo transitions which it's really doing? Surely, since the frames need to be constructed up to 120 times per second, the UI cannot be just rebuilt every time. Or can it? In fact, animations in Flutter are just a way to rebuild parts of your widget tree on every frame. There's no special case. Flutter is fast enough to do that. Let's look at Animated Builder that Emily talked about in the previous episode. Animated Builder is an animated widget which is backed by Animated State. In the state's init state method, we're listening on the animation, or listenable as it is called here, and when it changes its value, we call set state. There you go, animations in Flutter are just a quick succession of changing the state of some widget 60 or 120 times per second. I can prove it. Here's an animation that animates from zero to the speed of light. Although it's changing the text on every frame, from Flutter's perspective, it's just another animation. Let's use Flutter's animation framework to build that animation from first principles. Normally, we would use Twin Animation Builder or something similar, but in this video, we'll ignore all that and go with a ticker, controller, and set state. Let's talk about ticker first. 99% of the time, you won't be using it directly, but I think it's still helpful to talk about it even if only to demystify it. Ticker is an object that calls a function every frame. In this case, we're printing hello every frame. Admittedly, that's not very useful. Also, we forgot to call ticker.dispose, so now our ticker will go on forever until we kill the app. That's why Flutter gives you single ticker provider state mixin, the aptly named mixin you've seen in some of the previous videos. This mixin takes care of the hassle of managing a ticker. Just slapped it onto your widget state and now your state is secretly a ticker provider. What this means is that the Flutter framework can ask it for a ticker, most importantly, animation controller can ask it for a ticker. Animation controller needs a ticker for it to function. If you use single ticker provider state mixin, or its evil cousin ticker provider state mixin, you can just give this to the animation controller and you're done. Animation controller is what you normally use to play, pause, reverse, and stop animations. Instead of pure tick events, it tells us at which point of the animation we are at any time. For example, are we halfway there? Uh, are we 99% there? Have we completed the animation? Normally, you take the animation controller, maybe transform it with a curve, put it through a tween, and use it in one of the handy widgets like Fade Transition or Tween Animation Builder. But for educational purposes, Let's not do that. Instead, we will directly call set state. After we initialize the animation controller, we can add a listener to it, and in that listener, we call set state. Now we should probably have some state to set. Let's keep it simple with an integer. And let's not forget to actually use it in our build method and to change it in our listener according to the current value of the controller. This code will assign a value from zero to the speed of light depending on the animation's progress. There, and now we just need to tell the animation how long it should take to complete and start the animation. The widget animates as soon as it's added to the screen. And it animates from zero to the speed of light in a second. Oh, and don't forget to dispose of the animation controller. As you can see, doing it all by yourself is not great. The exact same functionality can be achieved with the tween animation builder in much fewer lines of code and without having to juggle with an animation controller and calling set state. So once again, don't do this. There are easier ways to animate. 
this was just a deep dive into the building blocks of the Flutter animation framework. We saw what Ticker really is, we saw how to manually listen to an animation controller, and we saw that at the basic level, animations are just fast consecutive rebuilds of a widget. You can do whatever you want on any frame. This almost concludes this animation series. There's one more video which will help you determine when to go with what animation approach, so stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs>